Ever found yourself wondering about the term G20 country? It pops up in the news, in economic forecasts, in political discussions. But what does it really mean? G20, or Group of 20, is an international forum comprising 19 countries and the European Union. It's a pretty diverse mix, with members from every continent, including giants like the United States, China and India, and smaller economies like Argentina and South Africa. But why does this group exist? Why these 20 members? Well, these countries are the major economies of the world. Together, they represent about 85% of the global gross domestic product, two-thirds of the world's population, and 75% of international trade. That's some serious economic firepower. The G20 was born out of a need for global cooperation. In the late 90s, the world faced a series of financial crises. Countries realized they needed a platform for open dialogue and coordination. That's when the G20 stepped in, holding its first meeting in 1999. But it's not just about crisis management. The G20 serves as a platform for tackling a wide range of global issues. Think of it as a round table where the world's largest economies come together to discuss and promote policies for sustainable and inclusive growth. The key takeaways about the G20, it's a forum for the world's major economies. It's about fostering international economic cooperation. The G20 addresses not only financial crises, but also a wide range of global issues. It's a platform that aims to make the world economy more stable and prosperous. So the next time you hear about a G20 country, you'll know it's one of the world's major economies, part of a group that carries a significant weight in global affairs. Not just a term, but a symbol of global economic cooperation and shared prosperity. And that's the G20 for you, an international forum where the economic giants of the world come together to shape our global economic landscape. Fascinating, isn't it? Isn't it?